Well, I have done something that I said I would never do. I have went through this complete dead out. And I have looked at each and every one of these bees. I'd probably say I've gotten 95% of them looked at. 98%, somewhere along in there. Just about every dang one of them. <clears throat> and I know what my mite count is. And I said I'd never do a mite count. But I spent about an hour going through it. Don't know how well it'll pick up. But there is a mite right there. And I think you can see it. There's a mite right there on that bee. Of course, there's McQueen. But I have looked at every stinking one of these bees. Just about. Check the bottom board over. Of course, there's a lot of debris from where they've ate. Because this hive has just died. It was alive two days ago. But I have actually picked up and inspected each bee, looked at their bottoms, their abdomens and everything, turned them over, looked at their tops, and there was two mites in this colony. So you know what my conclusion is? Mites vector the bacteria and a virus in, one of the two, maybe both. And over the winter, they have just dwindled and dwindled and dwindled and dwindled to the point they couldn't stay warm. And I've already put the frame that had the, where the queen had already started laying, had about a half a frame of captain in other stages of brood it was actually a top bar frame so it's already in the top bar in the back to go back into it where i made a split last spring so now i can say i've done a mite count tedious mite count too looking at every stinking one of those bees but now i know my mite count when somebody asks i got two for maybe I should have counted the bees 500 bees oh well part of beekeeping bees sting bees reproduce bees die have a good one